Hello and welcome to our latest video. Today we're going to be showing you how to change a battery in a micro beacon. We'll also be doing some basic maintenance and inspection. The beacon we'll be using today is a 1310A, but what we're doing is also applicable for 1200 and any other 1300 beacons. Before we get started, you're going to need the following tools. A small flat headed screwdriver, a pair of cutters, and optionally a safety knife or scalpel to remove the sleeve. Let's get started. Before continuing, please consult the quick start guide for maintenance instructions on PRV, O-ring and battery charge procedures. The first thing the user will have to do is remove the sleeve. To remove the sleeve, simply pull it over the top of the beacon and push it off. Alternatively, you can cut the sleeve by making a small insert at the top near the end cap. If you do cut the sleeve, please inform us and we'll send a replacement. Before continuing with disassembly, the beacon should be vented. This will release any pressure buildup in the beacon and make removing the end cap easier. The PRV is located on the end cap next to the connector. Although it is difficult to see in the video, the PRV has a single O-ring that should be checked for damage, debris buildup, and that is properly lubricated. To re-lubricate the O-ring, use a small amount of Parker O-Lube. If any damage to the PRV is noted, the beacon should be returned for repair. This is a safety feature and should be treated as such. The next thing the user will have to do is remove four screws from the end cap and four screws from the front of the beacon. This is done using the flat-headed screwdriver. Please note that the metal screws are in the end cap and the plastic screws are in the top end near where the connector is for the remote head. Now time to disassemble the beacon. Starting with the end cap, hold onto the main body and loosely pull on the end cap. When the end cap is removed, you'll need to use a screwdriver or a finger to release the MOLIS connector holding the wiring onto the end cap. To remove the body, simply hold on to the remote connector end and pull on the main tube. This will allow you access to electronics in the battery compartment. With the beacon disassembled, now would be a good time to check for damage to the beacon O-rings and O-ring faces. The beacon has four main O-rings in total, two at either end. These should be checked for any cuts, debris or damage. A light layer of lubricant should also be visible. We recommend using Parker O-Loop. The O-ring faces on the inside of the beacon body should also be checked for damage, debris and that lubrication is present. If damage is observed to any of these parts, then we recommend the beacon is returned to us for replacement and pressure testing. The next thing you'll have to do is remove the battery connector from the main electronics. To do this, simply remove the Molex connector. Finally, to remove the battery, simply use a pair of cutters to remove the tie wraps holding it down. To replace the battery, simply place the new battery flush against the transducer connector end cap. With the battery in place, put a tie wrap underneath the metal support plate and round and tie into the little notches on the side. Cut these when in place. With the battery secure, simply plug in the Molex connector back into the electronics board. And that's the battery change out complete. With the battery change complete, the beacon should be reassembled and placed on charge before being used in operations. Charge times will differ depending on the model of micro series beacon being used. For the 1310 series, this would be four hours for a full charge. For specific beacon charge times, please consult the provided manual or quick start guide. Alternatively, view the beacon charge times on our technical descriptions on our website. Once charging is complete, remember to vent the beacon before operations using the PRV. And that concludes the video. 
Thank you for joining us today. We hope you found the video useful. If you require any other information, please get in contact with us. Hope to see you again soon.